two, one. We're live. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Milana Lyshinsky. And I am sort of doing this as a Facebook live challenge, but I planned this um, interview way before the challenge was even announced. So I am excited to do this literally just to talk to my guest, Mark Mawini, about um, creating products with simplicity as an approach. And, and that's something that um, has really been a goal of mine to simplify any topic that can help you move your business forward, but uh, specifically product creation has been something that is very um, interesting for me to talk about because I do create a lot of products over the course of 16 years, 17 years in my business. I think I easily can say I created over a hundred different products. Um, and uh, so I do that naturally but a lot of people don't and i have a feeling that my guest mark also has some kind of a natural tendency to create something that is very simplified for people just based on the product i uh, recently had an experience with and so yeah i am i think if every product was like the one that you created mark we would have so many more success stories because look at this we are doing this in a Facebook group that you taught me how to create doing a Facebook live on the topic with a guest that you taught me how to uh, manage all of it. So I'm excited to have you here. How are you doing, Mark? I'm good. And what you're supposed to say is you made $5.7 million with your Facebook group in the last month. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, someday I will. <laughs> now, let me check. Are you getting an echo from me? Um, I'm actually not getting an echo. What I am doing right now is I want to make sure that this live stream is pinned to the top. So I'm going to do that right now. It's pinned to the top of my group here. And there we go. So we are running this from within Simplicity Circle, Simplicity Entrepreneur Facebook group. And we already have some people who are watching. Thank you, guys. Welcome, everybody. And what I want to start with, uh, Mark, is the fact that you do run your own very successful Facebook group co called The Coaching Jungle. It seems to be very active, very connected. Um, I've also noticed a certain vibe and a culture because every group has its own vibe and a culture that yes. takes it from the owner of the group. So what is your vibe? What is the culture of your group? Well, anyone going into the group at first will notice uh, the very first thing they see on the banner is a cartoon of myself in a Tarzan robe, robe uh, swinging across on a vine. So right away, you know, hey, this is a probably a group that likes to have fun and doesn't take itself too seriously. So uh, it's interesting. The culture has um, shifted, but not a whole lot since it actually I started the group in late 2015. So it's uh, about a year and a half old or so. And uh, overall, it's always had that kind of fun vibe. But at the end of the day, it's all about helping coaches grow their businesses. That's the uh, raison d'etre, I guess, for the whole group. And that's what we have to keep front and center and make sure that we don't drift from that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know what my vibe is as far as the, the group. I'm still figuring it out. The group is only a month old. And I can't tell you how much resistance I experienced before I started it. Hmm. I remember calling my coach. I had a call with her the day before. And I said, you know, this decision feels like I'm about to get married and it's for life. Hmm. <laughs> and it felt like such a great, big, important, no turning back kind of a decision for whatever reason. I'm not sure why I felt that way. But once I started, after going through your program, um, all of that disappeared. I think that taking that first step, feeling the feedback from the people who were part of it, I think that that was a really, an important thing for me to do is just to start. So that's tip number one for today is just to start. Um, and I think that things will start adding up and you'll start getting feedback. You'll start experiencing whatever it is that you're supposed to experience. Do you feel uh, like a lot of people resist starting a Facebook group. Like, am I unique in that? 
No, not at all. I mean, a lot of people when it comes to Facebook groups will start them but keep them secret while they're tinkering with the banner and doing all the stuff. That's important. Don't get me wrong. You want to have it looking nice and stuff. But um, it, it's the same as business as a whole. And I see it especially with coaches is that they want to have everything figured out before they even start. And a, a lot of people spend six months, a year planning Facebook group or their their business instead of just getting out there and doing it. Yeah. And anything you plan, that uh, whole playbook is going to be thrown out in a day or two anyways. The business plan won't be – it'll be obsolete by the time you get going regardless. <laughs> so I always take a bias towards action. I kind of – same thing with my podcast with Natural Born Coaches. I just decided, hey, I'm going to do a podcast. I just got started right away. I don't like to wait too long, and then you have uh, the opportunities to talk yourself out of it. And other people, the negative Nellies in your life will you know, whisper in your ear and confuse you. So I like to just get going. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, I must say that we have more people watching right now than what I normally do, my Facebook Lives. It was because of the $5.7 million um, quote. Everyone wants to know how I helped you make almost $6 million bucks in a month. <laughs> <laughs> or for a little asterisk, results not typical. Yes, either that or you're very popular or the timing. I've never done my uh, Facebook Lives at this time. I usually do it about two hours sooner because it... I don't know, just the habit of having small children who are coming from school at this time. And I kind of got that that inertia at this point. I always did my Facebook lives at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I and, offered everyone 20 bucks to watch, so that's why they're doing oh, it. Oh, that's the secret. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about product creation because your product really truly blew me away. I believe that I am somebody who simplifies a lot. But when I saw your the structure, the format, just the way I was able to go through it, bam, 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 bam. I was done with the product. It made sense. It, and it particularly was a contrast with how I felt before purchasing your product. I was extremely overwhelmed around the subject of Facebook groups because there's so much advice around it. There is no lack of advice on how to start a Facebook group and everybody will tell you something different. Some advice is contradicting. And I don't think that I'm the kind of person who wants to know everything about this subject right away. I like to peel the layers and try things and then have something new being revealed to me. So I think that's why I eventually started instead of waiting and learning and waiting and learning, right? Um, but I was concerned that I would start it the wrong way, that I would make a ton of mistakes, that there's something that I didn't know. Um, I also had experience where I would start a community and it would wither down. After a few weeks, it would be like it dead. So I had a lot of fears that I'm going to make a ton of mistakes. And so when your product came around and it's called the group um, gold um, program. program, right? right. The group gold program. And I'll actually um, post real quickly a link in case you guys are thinking of, uh, let's see, how do I do that? I think I can just comment. Um, so now the link should show up somewhere, I think. There it is. Yep, it's under the uh, video. So if you're looking to check out the product that I'm talking about today, uh, it's the Group Gold program that teaches you the basics and actually beyond the basics. I haven't even gotten through all the interviews, but I've done it uh, deliberately because I'm pacing myself. I have learned enough at this point to make this work, and then everything else I'll learn will be like a cherry on top, some new strategy that I will uh, learn. But the product itself was um, very focused, highly focused. And so let me ask you this question. You are running a, pro a group called The Coaching Jungle. I looked at your website, Mark. You have products on how to build a, a profitable coaching business, how to get your coaching clients. Why Facebook groups? How did you land on this subject? Because a lot of people who have a lot of knowledge, they struggle with picking out the one thing that they should focus their product on. So what was your thinking there? Yeah, well, um, to make a long story short, uh, I started the Facebook group. Uh, this wasn't my first Facebook group, The Coaching Jungle. I had a Facebook group for my podcast for past guests of the show. And I've done 500 and some episodes of Natural Born Coaches, and I think we had 350 past guests in there. The problem, what was happening with that was a lot of people were requesting to join that group called Natural Born Coaches Past Guests, not seeing the past guest part. They just seen Natural Born Coaches. And then I had to reject all these people and say, oh, I'm really sorry. This is for people who've been on my podcast. So that's why I ended up starting the coaching jungle, um, because after enough 
times of that happening, it got through my thick skull that, hey, I should have a group that's open to all coaches. And I've since actually um, shut down the Facebook group for the podcast because I've been all my time since spent in the coaching jungle. There's uh, almost 7,000 coaches in there. It made sense to put my efforts towards the 7,000 group compared to the 350 group, even though the podcast is still running. You know, it's a weekly show and it'll continue to run. Uh, so when um, I like to um, – launch you know at least a product every year program and, and the last official launch i did was last spring so we're coming up to one year of time and i thought you know what i'd like to do a program and i was getting so many questions about facebook groups that it was a no-brainer I, I was saying you know what i want to do one on facebook groups and put everything that i learned from uh, the coaching jungle growing and monetizing it into a program and then the cool thing that happened was i had five people who were supposed to do bonus interviews with me I asked a few friends that had, you know, 50,000 people in their group and different successful group owners. And it was only supposed to be five. And then that started to balloon because I started to have all these other group owners reaching out to me. They're doing really well wanting to be a part of it. And now there's over 20 interviews in there. So and it'll continue to grow as time goes on. So it's been a really cool experience. Uh, it It's much bigger than I anticipated. It's supposed to be a much smaller program, but I'm happy with it that way. So... Um, what about the fact that there were already a lot of products around Facebook groups? Did that throw you off? Did that concern you? Because a lot of times you come up with a pro with a topic for your product, you start looking online and you get immediately discouraged because you realize that there's a lot of products on that topic. Actually, before I purchased yours, I was considered another program. Um, and the reason I didn't go with that, well, there was a price, a, a much higher price tag. Okay. It was a more comprehensive program. And anytime I hear the word comprehensive, I run because I don't want anything comprehensive. Yeah. I want simple, practical, and essential. Yes. And I think that the trend of a micro learning, um, I can't remember who was talking about micro learning on one of the other Facebook lives I did, um, but micro learning trend is. Uh, it has a very good reason because people are overwhelmed. And so what you did is you boiled it down just to the essential. But I'm curious, did you get any kind of like emotional response to the idea like, oh, my God, there are all these other products on Facebook programs, uh, Facebook groups. I shouldn't create it. What were you thinking there? Not at all, because I'm a coach and there's like two trillion coaches in the world. So I'm used to <laughs> if I worried about that, I wouldn't do anything. Uh, so, no, I, I didn't have that hesitation. Actually, that if anything would prove to me that, hey, there's a market for it. And you're very, it's very rare that you're going to find something that no one else is doing anyways, especially in the online world. So I, that never crossed my mind at all. Uh, for me, I let the market tell me what, what the demands for, you know, um, uh, the, the copywriter, the late, great Gary Halbert has a whole thing around feeding a starving crowd, which people can Google and read about. It's a cool story. I was just feeding the starving crowd. A lot of people asking me about Facebook groups and how mm -hmm. to do it. So that, that's where it came from. But I never once had any hesitation where I thought, oh, well, you know, there's this guy's doing one and this woman's doing one or whatever. I just ran with it. Mm, that's really cool. And I want to answer the same question, actually, because I always had, you know, there is a concern like, yeah, well, if, if I create this product, I want it to be better, unique, different. What's going to be my unique spin? Do I have something different or new to say about it? Mm -hmm. And I think you, you have something really, you probably don't realize that because I'm singing your praises and you're not even smiling. <laughs> <laughs> But the product is so well organized. I'm going to actually, um, I, I got Mark's permission to give you guys a little sneak peek into the product just to so, show a screenshot of what I'm talking about. But it's literally uh, the entire product on one screen for you. There is no browsing through modules. Uh, there is no going deeper into another layer and another layer, which can be very overwhelming. But I will tell you, you had your own audience. So you knew that if you were to create this product, you already had fans who wanted, um, who you could market it to. So that's the first reason. So when you have your own list, your own community, your own Facebook group, your own networking group, um, you know, that's kind of how you know that people want it. The other thing, and that's something that my coach um, was saying to me for many years, he would say, Milana, your people want to hear from you. They don't care about uh, Jane, Joe, um, you know, Bill, whatever. They want to hear your take on this topic. So it doesn't matter really. How they many can't copy your personality, right? So yeah, I totally agree with that. 
it's also the t your take, your view on something, right? Mm -hmm. When you follow somebody and, and you are their fan, you want to know their take. I want to know what Mark thinks about this. If you notice, whenever I had a question about a Facebook group, I didn't go ask my coach or anybody else. I came to you because I wanted to hear your take on this because I I saw you as my trusted advisor on Facebook groups. So I wanted to hear what you were thinking about this topic. And so, yeah, that's kind of how it got positioned. Um, uh, thank you, Sheila. Sheila says, Michael learning is key for comprehension. Yes, uh, for sure. And um, so let me show, actually, I'm going to uh, drop a screenshot if I can. Let me try to do that and see if I can actually... Uh, if, if it will work for me. So I'm going to go here and hopefully it will work. I, I want people to really see what I am seeing when I open the product. And it's, I've never done this before. Yeah, Thinkific is great. Uh, definitely that's the platform I use. So there's lots of good ones out there, but I really like Thinkific. And you know what? I don't even think it, the, it's the matter of so much of the um, the platform that you're using because you could have been using a WordPress, mm. uh, you know, platform or really anything. It's just the structure of the product. And unfortunately, for whatever reason, I'm not able to copy and paste it. Um, as a the easiest way is for everybody to buy it, then they can see the whole thing. <laughs> Yes. We, pl we plan yeah. this. Yeah. Yes. So the link is. Um, well, let me show you the link again. It's like right underneath the video, um, and it's very reasonably priced considering that I was looking at a thousand to two thousand dollar program. On how yes. To I, I and I know this. I'm biased. Probably I do think I, I underpriced it. Uh, my last program was called Your First Five Clients, and that's one I released in the spring of 2016, and it was four ninety seven. And where this one was supposed to be smaller, that's why I put it at 297. I thought, okay, well, I'll put it less or whatever. Then all of a sudden, it, it did get um, you know more into it with the bonus interviews and stuff like that. So I, I'm happy with the price because it gets it into more people's hands. Um, going forward, I probably would have priced it at 497. But mm -hmm. again, I'm, I'm biased. But that's that's honest. My honest opinion. Yeah. Okay, so I was able to post it, but it's kind of at the top. It's a separate post. For whatever reason, I wasn't able to post it underneath. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but it is on our in our uh, Simplicity Circle um, Facebook group. So if you want to take a look at it, but what you will see is literally four modules. And as you click on each module, the content of each module opens up literally as topics. And that's it. Many times what, what happens is people will go into programs and modules and there is more to click in there within that uh, mm -hmm. module and the, the link will take you so what happens is you're going into the rabbit's hole and you don't know when the layer is going to stop that is complexity that's and frustrating mm -hmm. what, <laughs> for sure right so what you've done is you created four modules and each topic um each module had what i the way i perceived it is like it's a series of questions and so is that how you came up with the content for each of the modules? Because there's so much that you could have included. You could have included a ton more. Yeah. But there are things that you chose to include in each module. Um, and also even the structure, if I may um, share with people, the structure of the program, you had um, um, module one, setting up your Facebook group, module two, growing the group, module three, getting engagement, module four, monetizing your group. Those are those seems to be the four areas. How did you identify that? Like, I, I know it could be the fact that that's how your brain works, but are there any tips that you could help yeah. with? Well, I started with uh, here's my super secret method, blank piece of paper. <laughs> and um, I like to, to um, identify the big points first, obviously, for the different modules. And I knew those were the big four. You know, it uh, was simply uh, creating the group and then, of course, growing, engaging, monetizing it. So and then it came down to just filling in the blanks, you know, after that. OK, what things do people tend to have a lot of questions about when it comes to growing the group? How do you get people into it and all the stuff? And I had um, just a whole um, it looked like 
my paper look like, uh, who is it? Uh, Russell Crowe's the movie, a beautiful mind, you know, with the chalkboard and all that stuff yeah. like that. That's, but, uh, but I just threw everything in there. And, and the cool thing with the, this program and the way I like to do it is it's evolving and growing as time goes on. So I'll, I'm shooting video later today about something that popped up from someone that's in our Facebook group had a question about it. That's going to go into the program. I'm interviewing um, knock on wood. It looks like I've set up an interview with somebody that has, believe it or not, close to a million people in their Facebook group. We'll see. Um, that we're working on getting that set up. That interview is going to go into the program. So it'll continually evolve and change. But I think um, that's the key. I like having a main four or five modules or so, and then having those um, different pieces of content for each module. Right, right. That, so that's really awesome. By the way, I was just able to post it. Um, I did a little workaround and uh, it should show up right now. Um, the screenshot you guys should be able to see right underneath this video. You can see how straightforward it is. And as you click on each um, subject, each topic, what happens is Mark shows up uh, on a little video. And my favorite thing of all, you know, for those of us who think we need to create 90 minute modules, training modules, each video is up to 15 minutes. Some are like three minutes or four minutes. So what I think you were doing is you weren't telling yourself, well, I have to make each module this long or each mm. topic this long. You were going with that, right? Like however long it took, that's how long it took to explain the yeah. subject. And so I didn't look at the time at all. So uh, the problem I made with one of my uh, co hey, there's da uh, David, thanks for tuning in there. Um, the problem I did with uh, my previous program was um, it was a little too, um, I was trying to script it too much and, and, you know, you have like teleprompters and all this other stuff. And, and then it takes too long because you want to do retakes of videos and all that. Most of the videos in this program, I just recorded it, stopped it, then started a new video with the next one and then moved on. And that's why I recommend if you're creating a, a course or a program is don't get hung up with trying to have a perfect video. People don't want perfect videos. You want your lighting and your sound to be good, obviously, but just uh, get on a roll. And once you get onto a roll, you can record five, six, seven, eight videos in a row, bang, bang, bang. And that's what I love about Facebook Live, by the way, with what we're doing and, and other things with Facebook Live is it gets rid of the temptation to do reshoot after reshoot and takes you two hours to do a two minute video. It's just, you have no retakes, you get, a bat, you get on Facebook Live and you do it. And I think that that's great for anyone who struggles with perfectionism, for example. Mm, yeah. So it sounds like what you've done is you, you, you saw a need in your group specifically, in your community, that people wanted to know. So that's how you came up with a topic people, people were asking. Um, you also saw a trend that this product is worth creating because right now Facebook groups are hot. Mm. Facebook Live on top of it is even hotter especially for people who um, communicate well on video and they uh, want to use more of that and leverage that. And um, and then what you did is you realized that there are four areas of running a Facebook group. It's starting, you know, the basics, um, growing it, engaging it, and monetizing it. It seems yeah. like these four topics, did, did you feel like you left some things unsaid if you were to offer say a bonus right now would you have an idea what that might be because there are some kind of an incompletion yeah. sense in your mind i'll probably do a, a video on something that's that's going around now there's a trend with people closing down their groups which is really <laughs> strange i don't get it you know um some really big groups of uh, owners i know have 40 50 000 people and in some cases they're going to a, tr a smaller tighter group and i can understand it's not the way I would do it. I would probably purge the group and make changes as needed. But um, there's some really smart people who are just uh, shutting their groups down. They're just saying, no, I'm, I'm just going to, it seems like it's a cool thing to do nowadays. That's great for people like you and me that have groups open because there's all these people who are looking to have that itch scratched and they can come into our groups and, and do that as well. But um, that's something I'm going to be talking about. That's one of the videos that I'm uh, going to be putting into the program because I don't want people who are in the program saying, oh, geez, I saw so-and-so is a big name and she's shutting down her group. So it must be in the Facebook groups are dead. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook groups are just getting started. You know, uh, Mark Zuckerberg talked about doubling down on it. They, they have all these things planned for groups. This is not the time to pull back from Facebook groups. If anything, you should be putting your pedal uh, to the metal. So that that's just one example of something I'll be talking about with it. But um, as a bonus, I mean, one thing I've looked at doing is uh, something that's um, a, a closer um 
helping people through groups uh, more handholding where maybe it's a premier service where I help them one-on-one, -on -one, you know, with certain things in the group and I can get in their group and, you know, get a bird's eye view or a close view of, of what's right with it, what's wrong with it and fix it there. But honestly, right now I don't have the bandwidth because of my main coaching pro my main business is helping coaches grow their businesses. It's not Facebook groups, although that a lot of people have come to know me for that just because of this program. Yeah, yeah. As you were talking, um, first of all, I want to uh, invite anybody who has a question for Mark. Now is a good time for you guys to ask it. So go ahead and post it in the comments. Is there anything that you are seeing um, that you would like for Mark to address either about Facebook groups or about the simplicity approach to creating a product? Uh, while people are um, thinking and posting these questions, Mark, I have a question for you and it's sure. very important. Do you have a twin? I do. <laughs> you actually do? I do, yes. I thought you knew that. I have a twin brother, Matt. Now, I he thought does, I he was does... imagining it because his no. face looks exactly like yours, but it's not you. No, no yeah, no beard and he has spiky hair. So, yes, I, I've, uh, my brother, Matt, actually uh, has a business that edits podcasts. He has a team there that does that. They actually edit my show. And I trust him because I sat on his head for nine months. So I trust him with my podcast. But yes, oh, I do. Yes. I do have a twin. His name's Matthew, but he goes by Matt, which makes it even more confusing because Matt's the same number of letters as Mark. So. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. So um, I, there, while people are posting questions, I do want to share the little system that I figured out while you were talking, because I think that that's a cool way to approach product creation. So I'm going to post it right here for everybody to see. So the way I feel that you approached it is first you chose a topic, you determine what the topic of a product is going to be. Then my feeling is that you looked at all the questions people were asking, your biggest questions, and you organized them into some primary themes. Like for you, it was um, um, so getting started, uh, growing, engaging, and monetizing. So those are the four themes, right? right. So that is your kind of third step. And the fourth step is guest interviews. And I really like that idea because you probably did leave some things out. You can't yeah. cover it all. But by having guest experts or guest interviews to interact with you about this topic, what happens is you now starting to make your product more valuable, richer, content rich, a little bit more, raising right. issues that you may have not even raised or thought of raising before. One of the things that I like to do in my products when I was creating it is I like to create it in real time. So I'll create like 15 minutes of training and then I just open up to questions. And the value comes from people's questions. So I do almost what you are doing, but a little bit in reverse. Yeah, and, um, yeah. that's a great way to do it. I mean, a perfect example, uh, Jen Scalia, who's one of the uh, guests that I interviewed for it, she's done really well with using challenges to um, grow, uh, to monetize a group. That challenges isn't something I do, it's not my, my bag. So I had her on to talk about that, which was cool. I wouldn't have been in there if it was just me talking at the camera for 70 videos or something like that. So yeah, they added a different component to it um, as well. I, I know there are a few questions that pop up on my screen, then they come down. So I missed, I think Alice had one and uh, a few different questions. So you'll have to read them, uh, Milana, because I can't see them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So there, the, I, I wanted to bring a question that uh, is a little bit about Facebook groups. Maybe you can briefly address that. We'll go to Alice's questions sure. next. Um, Christine, hi, Christine. I'm so happy to see you watching this. Can you speak about um, question requirements for joining Facebook groups? Is that a good idea? What to do with the data you receive? Thank you for asking. I've actually been building a whole f spreadsheet of responses from people and periodically reviewing them to see if there's something that I should be doing differently. But what are your uh, what are your tips on Facebook? Yeah. I mean, it's, I like that Facebook's giving some flexibility now where you can do things like this, and then they're offering more analytics within the group for the admin, which is awesome. I don't use the question requirements. Um, my method of choosing who to let in and, and not let in is a little different. I look at things like if they have no profile picture, they're probably not getting in. If they're a member of um, 17,000 groups, they're probably not going to get in. Um, things like that, you know, I, I've gotten a pretty good handle of who's uh, who I want in the group and who I don't. Now, that being said, my group's um, not like some, like I had M. Shannon Hernandez uh, was one of the guests who I interviewed with the program. Her group's around 200 and 
50 people and she keeps it extremely tight, she has to be tighter on it. Mine, we're in growth mode. But that being said, we're not just adding it, just anybody. But, you know, at every 10 requests, I might accept seven, roughly. Uh, M. Shannon, she probably accepts one out of 10, if that. So um, the questions, it's interesting. Um, now, I know there is a glitch um, I've seen from when I went to join groups and, and gone to join groups and others have told me that if someone doesn't answer them or cancels that they could still get put through and then it kind of defeats the whole purpose of the questions. So I don't know. Um, I think there's still some kinks of Facebook's working out. But at the end of the day, I don't, I don't feel really strongly one way or the other. I think it works for some people. Um, me, though, I'm in growth mode for the coaching jungle, so we're not doing them at this time. Yeah, so that's interesting because I've questioned, um, should I ask questions, should I not? What do I do with the information? Uh, my podcast um, uh, expert that I actually started working with recently who helps me book, uh, uh, book me on podcast interviews, Nicole Holland, she recommended that I create a curated community because what's going to happen is the engagement is going to go up and yes i would love to grow it uh but i think i'm more interested in having the right people in the group because not everybody is thinking as a simplicity entrepreneur not everybody is simplicity minded a lot of people are all about the hustle and so I want to create a culture and a vibe of simplicity and so that's kind of important to me mm. um so thank you for answering that question um, and so, by the way, I always cringe when I have to reject a member because they haven't answered the questions. And it's been 24 hours. And when are you going to answer the questions? Mm. Um, do you not care? I feel disrespected. Like all kinds of thinking <laughs> starts coming into my mind. Like, how dare you request to join my group and you didn't even answer the questions, right? So, uh, yeah, it's very, it's a very personal decision. By the way, I just posted a link back to Mark's product again on Facebook groups. If that's something... Um, that you feel interested in, uh, I think that it is extremely reasonable priced and you will not find a product that is really condensing this area of training for you in such a format that it's going to be very easy to consume. All your questions will be answered. So I just love, love, love that product. Um, Alice, you had a question. I really need to know this because my IT employee is moving back to Spain. What was the question originally? Let's see. Um, how easy would it be to learn as I'm not a technical genius? So, I, you know, for the sake of simplicity, I always say to people, if you don't know how to uh, add content to any program, just set it up on email. Who cares how people receive it? Just focus on the delivery of the content or the value. But what would you say to that, Mark? Uh, well, I guess the question for Alice, when, uh, Alice, when you mentioned how easy is it to learn, do you mean Facebook groups or do you mean uh, going through the actual program? Because if it's Facebook groups, if you can work Facebook, you can handle Facebook groups. It's extremely user friendly. Uh, the actual program, like you mentioned, Milana, is through Thinkific, and it's very easy to learn as well. Like um, my nine-year-old could go through it and, and use it. So either or, either way, there it's uh, it's easy to use both of them. Awesome! Thank you so much for answering that question, um, Alice. You are asking what is a curated community. Um, actually, it's funny. I learned the word curated very recently. Um, for some reason, I just never used that word before. But it's basically where you um, allow only selected information or selected people into the group or, you know, there are curated YouTube websites where you, you know, people select certain content to make it, make the cut. So it's a cur curated by you, pre-selected, you protect wh whatever it is you're creating. So that's how I understood that. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Facebook groups, I'm going to sign up for your program. How long is the course? Oh, I'm trying to recall. I believe we've got three hours of video and we've got somewhere around eight hours of audio interviews. So you could finish the video portions uh, very quickly. You know, you take part of a weekend, you've got that done. I don't recommend going through 20 some interviews back to back unless you really want to. And you want to take a bathroom break or go to the kitchen in between. Um, what most people are doing is they're going through the video stuff because that's everything that you need to really get going. And then they're chipping away at the interviews. So I've heard people, they're listening to maybe when they're taking their dog for a walk, they're doing one of the interviews or the gym or whatever, doing an interview a day or a couple a week or whatever. But you get everything that you need really from the videos, but the audio interviews will definitely add to it because that's 20 some people who bring in different perspectives and who are doing really well with it. 
And Alice, I know you love this course because it's very self-paced. You don't actually have to wait for the next week's coach training or, or training call to receive that information. You go at your own pace. If you complete one video, you feel like going to the next one, you can do that. And Mark, guess when, what I was doing while I was learning how to do a Facebook group uh, from your course. I oh, was boys. in the middle. I was in the middle of, of running my garage sale, my yard sale. Ah, and you were, there you go, multitasking. Multitasking. I was sitting and if people were approaching, I was pretending that I was too busy to talk to them because, the, you know, people don't like to browse when somebody's watching them. So I would immediately like, oh, there's Mark again. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I, yard, was... I was there in spirit at your yard sale. Say it again? I was there in spirit at yes, your garage sale. Yes, you were, sale. absolutely. Yeah. And I was... I was I was really experiencing this enormous gratitude, like finally somebody simplifying this incredibly overwhelming topic. And so I think a curated product, you know, we talked about curated community or curated video channel. A curated product is exactly what Mark has created. He made a decision to focus on certain topics that he knew people would be asking about early on if they are beginners. And of course, I am assuming, Mark, that at some point, the content that you have in your program right now in your Facebook course will be too basic for some people. So there is always that next level of content that you could be creating, right? Mm. There is, uh, you know, maybe Facebook uh, group can be part of a marketing funnel for somebody. And you didn't necessarily cover that, but that's okay. I'm grateful that you didn't because I think it would be just like too much for me at that point to yeah. handle. I well, didn't want a yeah. comprehensive anything. There's um, somebody who bought the program, actually, I say he complained to me, didn't complain, but his feedback was he, he felt that it was, he, he felt the first part was too basic, which is creating Facebook group because he's already done all that. So when I looked at how much he had finished, because I could see how much they finished of the course, he was at like 25 percent. He didn't even go to the, the other parts. He just looked at the, the part with creating. If you already know how to create the you could go through and pick and choose, cherry pick different videos that are good to watch and you can get something from. But my sense is most people want to know how to grow and to monetize. Those are the big modules that people want to know. And they're the interviews that have been getting the most listens for the bonus interviews and so on. So if you've already created your group, it's already going, then you move Move on to the engagement part how to get it so it's not tumbleweeds you know with uh, nobody talking and look at doing things like the growth and the monetizing of it you don't spend hours and hours on the creating of the group if you already know how to do that so you can pick and choose you can go back and forth which whichever ones tickle your fancy yeah but what, my point is that you could have chosen to cover a lot more oh god you yes have, yeah you could have targeted people who already have a group yeah, I, I mean, I bought a program recently not to knock the person because he, he's good at, at what he does. I like his stuff, but it was a, a program around Facebook Messenger bots. And I found the way it was laid out, it was almost they're throwing a bunch of stuff in there and I'm just all botted out by now. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go back to that later on to get into it. So I try to keep it as simple as possible, not throw in extra stuff. And what do most people do? They think, well, to justify the price, I'm going to dump in as much extra stuff as possible and it loses its direction. And the name of the game is results for the people. They don't care how long it is. I mentioned, uh, was it Alice, where I said it's three hours roughly of video, eight hours of audio. It's not like if I had six hours of video and uh, suddenly had 16 hours of audio, that means that it's twice as good. You know, maybe if it's the wrong stuff, it will take from it. So I'm very conscious of that, not just to add for the sake of adding, because I don't want people sitting staring at their screen all the time. I want them making money with their Facebook group. Not adding stuff for the sake of adding. I think that's really brilliantly said. And I'm going to update or revise my list of steps that I initially posted. So the first one is you choose a topic, but the second one, you really want to think about your target audience, who you are aiming your content at. Because again, Mark could be talking about a lot of different advanced topics that I wouldn't necessarily even understand or would be ready or be overwhelmed by. So I'm a beginner in Facebook groups, but maybe there are people who are creating, you know, the next level Facebook group, and maybe that's something you'll create in the future. Uh, so topic, target audience, and the level of your target audience, the biggest questions they're asking, and then you're organizing them into 
primary themes or categories, and then you are enriching your product by simply inviting and interviewing guests. That sounds like a simplicity formula to me. <laughs> now I'll share a story here in case it can help anybody because you can learn from my boo-boo. This is a mistake I made with this program. When I first started the program, it was called the Facebook Group Gold Program, which you wouldn't think is much different than the Group Gold Program. Um, lo and behold, I got a, a nicely worded letter from Facebook's legal department that, hey, wait a minute, you can't use our you know Facebook in here. And I had the domain Facebook um, groupgold.com or whatever. Can't do that either. Nope. So my s silly mistake was, well, I've seen other people with various Facebook products that have um, different products showing how to sell, you know, whatever by messenger and do all these things. And they call it the Facebook blank, blank, blank. And I think, oh, we're okay. Other people are doing it. So that was a bit of a, a rigmarole because then I had to change the domain to group gold, you know, program there and, and change the name of it, which doesn't seem big, but it, it's a bit of a pain. So there's some things in the program that you would see that would still say Facebook group gold, still the same meaning, really. I was lucky that it worked out that way, but it could have been a lot worse. So if you're going to do a program, whether it be on Facebook or something with LinkedIn or whatever, be careful. Don't use their name in there, but find a way that you can get the point across without actually using any trademark terms. I think I did that early on. I came up with something around Facebook and that just didn't fly with them. I they they the watch it very closely. Yes. They, and they were on me every couple of days. I'm like, man, give me a day to get the domain changed here. It's like, do you got to change yet? Get a change yet. I was afraid some guys in suits are going to like kick down the door and drag me out of my house or something. <laughs> we're all good yeah. now. Fa Facebook <laughs> loves me again. Yeah. I put the name of your program on the screen and the link is also somewhere in there uh, right below the video. The group gold program, how to start and manage and monetize your Facebook group. I'm excited that you are here. Um, I just value so much and feeling so grateful to you, Mark, for creating this product and allowing me to move forward because I don't think I would have. I think I would have continued to procrastinate, feeling guilty, feeling left out, that whole FOMO would totally overwhelm my, my brain, the fear of missing out and everybody's doing a Facebook group. I want to do a Facebook group, but I wanted to have a purpose for mm. my Facebook group. And when I went through your program, suddenly it became crystal clear why I want to have a Facebook group and how I'm going to connect it throughout my entire business. So that was very helpful to me. So if you guys are considering uh, Mark's, uh, uh, if you're considering Facebook uh, groups as your next step in your business, definitely uh, Mark's product is going to give you that simplicity approach. It's going to make it really easy. And I would highly recommend that you join um, the coaching jungle if you are a coach. If you are looking for um, a way to grow your business, there's a lot of interesting conversation that are um, going going on in there. I've been uh, watching a little bit, so I'm just going to put that on the screen. The coaching jungle. I like that. Mark, Ooh, thank you. Uh, what was your biggest challenge in creating your product or any biggest um, tip or any, any final word is, I guess, what I'm looking for? Well, besides the legal staff who with Facebook, uh, the um, I think it goes with any time I create a, a product, the toughest part is actually getting started because so many other things can distract you and get in the way. So I've got the podcast, I've got um, my coaching clients, I've got a print newsletter that, that I do and just for coaches and all this other stuff that demands on my time. And I just had to get started with it. I find with programs, once I get rolling and I get recording and get doing screen shares, all that stuff, uh, screen captures, then I'm going and I it gets going really well. It's just actually getting started with it, uh, which you talked about earlier. That's the toughest part is just getting started. So that, that would be my answer. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I do want to say some final parting words for this uh, um, uh, live stream. You don't have to start a Facebook group. As a simplicity entrepreneur mentor, I will say that if it doesn't feel like something that you are drawn to, that you energetically just feeling really like that's what you want to do. If you don't feel excited about it, if the only thing you're feeling right now is fear of missing out, don't start a Facebook group. That is not the right reason to start your Facebook group. Start it because you can see that it will bring all of your business activities and, and marketing activities into focus like it has done for me. I kind of have like this anchor right now that I'm focusing on. Um, start it because you see it as part of a strategy that you will enjoy. So don't start it just because I say so or because Mark is so successful with, with um, his Facebook group. Start it because it is part of your simplicity zone. 
Mark, thank you so much for being here. Finally, it happened. I know I've waited for a whole month to uh, talk to you about this. Yeah, have thanks awesome, for having me. Um, have an awesome um, day, everybody. And I hope you got uh, a lot of good stuff and a lot of great tips. Bye, everybody. Mwah.